people who come to you or who call into suicide prevention lines, what do you, what do, you do when they call? Well, we do the same thing that anybody should do if they find out someone they care about is suicidal. The most important thing is compassionate listening. And it's really common, we don't mean to do wrong, but it's really common to say, how could you think of that? You have everything. You know, why would you do that? It's so selfish. You don't and say that? No, definitely what not. Do you say? Because it, it makes the person feel ashamed and they have to hide their. So what do you say? You say, I'm so sorry you're in so much pain. I want to help you. Tell me more about it. Let me know about your pain. And then as they talk and they realize you really care, you can ask other questions. Do you have a plan? Do you, what are you thinking of doing? And if they do, you can take measures to help keep them safe. And most important, you let them know, I'm going to draw people around you and I'm going to be there for you to help you get through this because it's a moment of despair. And if you can get them past it, they will be like Kevin, glad Do you they're follow alive. up? Absolutely, absolutely. When, with our fo people on the phone, we, we call them, we ask them how they'd like us to follow up, we connect them to other services. If it's really, really serious, we ask them if we can help contact their family or friends. How about speaking to someone who is suicidal? You mentioned earlier to be comforting to them and everything. But by the end of the conversation, do you feel you've accomplished something? Well, that's, I, that's a good question because, yes, you, you should feel that you, the person felt heard, you opened a door for them to talk, that you've assessed whether they um, have a lethal means that you want to remove, ask them if you can help take it away to make them safe. You've connected them to other people that can be supports. You've kind of created a safety system and you said, and I'm going to be here tomorrow. So you... You've sort of made a whole plan, but the most important thing is you could forget all that. If you say, I'm so sorry, and I really am s sorry you're in so much pain, you can always call the National Suicide Crisis Line, the number you've been giving out, and say, I don't know what else to do for this person, and they can talk you through it. Because the most important thing is so many people shut up because there's so much stigma, they don't know what to say. Even after someone dies, they don't say anything to their friends. Or they say something critical because they think that's helpful, but it isn't. Never miss a beat. Subscribe to Larry King now and watch new episodes every day.